So, after understanding the objective and the procedure, let's see what you're going to see under the microscope, because that is important. You need to understand, you need to differentiate between different type of complex tissues. Let's see. First, I will start with fibers. Let's see how fibers would look like. First and foremost, fibers, they would always be in clusters. Most of the time, fibers are in clusters. They're adhered together firmly. And they would have tapered ends. So, first criteria, they should be in a bunch. Rarely, if it is macerated properly, so rarely they would be separated. But most of the time, they are in a bunch form and they would have tapered end. If I look into the individual fibers, they would have a very, very narrow lumen and a thick lignified cell wall. And you can even see pits on them. So you need to be very, very careful. You need to be very, very, you should have patience in yourself because once you gaze through the microscope, don't be in a hurry. Try, try to differentiate. Because most of the time it is very, very confusing whether it is a tracheid or a fiber. So be very careful. Now, let's see the scleroids, how it will look like. Now, scleroids are a bit simple to differentiate. Reason being, they are isodiametric. They would have a central lumen and they would have pits all around and they are much more thick and wall they would have thickenings tremendous amount of thickenings so when you eat a pear nashpati that crunchy sound which you experience when you chew them you are actually grinding the scleroids so scleroids does produce that crunchy sound. Now let's talk about the tracheids. Normally in the microscope you will actually see ki they are in a clusters. So tracheids and vessels how they are different from each other you need to focus on one thing. Tracheids they would have bit tapered ends. You see, they are properly packaged end to end with their tapered ends. You can even see the pits, which may be two types. It may be simple or bordered. This is how simple pit looks like and these are the bordered pits. And if you compare a tracheid with a vessels, the only difference is that in tracheids you will have some tapered ends, they are connected back to back. In vessels they would have blunt ends. So each member is called a vessel member. So every vessel member are placed one above the other and they would have common connector and that is what is called as a perforation plate through which there is a vertical movement of water and minerals. Perforation plate, it may be of two types. Compound perforation plate and simple perforation plate. Compound perforation plate would have many pits in one view whereas simple would have just one perforation plate so therefore you see we need to understand ki under the microscope everything would be very very puzzled up but have patience look into each and every tissue carefully 
And one more very interesting thing about trachea is the thickenings. You can even very clearly see how those tracheids have different thickenings. You see they might have a annular thickenings where you can see ring like structures. They might have a ladder like configuration called a scleriform or they might have a spirally coiled thickenings. So this thickenings actually provides mechanical support to the tracheids. So these are those tissues which you would be observing under your microscope. Right now I am going to show you how to do the hands-on session. Thank you.